Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our live streaming of this Mass on this 17th of December as we begin this O Antiphones um, until the 24th. And today's Mass intention is being offered for the repose of the soul of Larry Redublo and Nip Kurilan. Also for the special intention of the Juarez family members. An entrance and the phone. Rejoice, O heavens, and exult, O earth, for our Lord will come to show mercy to his poor. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, creator and redeemer of human nature, who willed that your word should take flesh in an, in an ever virgin womb, look with favor on our prayers that your only begotten Son, having taken to himself our humanity, may be pleased to grant us a share in his divinity, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. Jacob called his sons and said to them, Assemble and listen, sons of Jacob. Listen to Israel, your father. You, Judah, shall your brothers praise your hand on the neck of your enemies. The sons of your father shall bow down to you. Judah, like a lion's whelp, you have grown up on prey, my son. He crouches like a lion recumbent, the king of beasts who would dare rouse him. The scepter shall never depart from Judah or the mace from between his legs while tribute is brought to him, and he receives the people's homage. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Justice, Justice shall, shall flourish, flourish in his time, time and, and fullness, fullness of peace forever. forever. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice, justice shall, shall flourish in this time, and fullness of peace forever. The mountains shall yield peace for the people, and the hills justice. He shall defend the afflicted among the people, save the children of the poor. Justice, justice shall flourish in this time, and fullness, and fullness of peace, peace forever. Just, justice shall flourish in his days, and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea, and the, from the river to the ends of the earth. Justice, justice shall flourish in this time, and fullness, fullness of peace, peace forever. forever. May his name be blessed forever, as long as the sun, his name, his name shall remain. In him shall all the tribes of the earth be blessed. All the nations shall proclaim his happiness. Justice, Justice shall flourish in his time and, and fullness, fullness of peace, peace forever. forever. 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. O wisdom of our God Most High, guiding creation with power and love, come to teach us the path of knowledge. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, the beginning. Glory to you, O Lord. The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham became the father of Isaac, Isaac the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers. Judah became the father of Perez and Zerah, whose mother was Tamar. Perez became the father of Hezron, Hezron the father of Ram, Ram, the father of Aminadab. Aminadab became the father of Nashon. Nashon, the father of Salmon. Salmon, the father of Boaz, whose mother was Rahab. Boaz became the father of Obed, whose mother was Ruth. Obed became the father of Jesse. Jesse, the father of David, the king. David became the father of Solomon, whose mother had been the wife of Uriah. Solomon became the father of Rehoboam. Rehoboam, the father of Abijah. Abijah, the father of Asaph. Asaph became the father of Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat, the father of Joram. Joram, the father of Uzziah. Uzziah became the father of Jotham. Jotham, the father of Ahaz. Ahaz, the father of Hezekiah. Hezekiah became the father of Manasseh. Manasseh, the father of Amos. Amos, the father of Josiah. Josiah became the father of Jeconiah and his brothers at the time of the Babylonian exile. After the Babylonian exile, Jeconiah became the father of Shealtiel. Shealtiel, the father of Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel, the father of Abiud. Abiud became the father of Eliakim. Eliakim, the father of Azar. Azar, the father of Zadok. Zadok the, became the father of Achim. Achim, the father of Eliud. Eliud, the father of Eleazar. Eleazar became the father of Mathan. Nathan, the father of Jacob. Jacob, the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. Thus, the total number of generations from Abraham to David is 14 generations. From David to the Babylonian exile, 14 generations from the Babylonian exile to the Christ, 14 generations. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. God doesn't choose the bravest and the strongest or even the holiest, to be part of his salvation plan for all of us. In the genealogy, we are assured the royal lineage of Jesus is of utmost importance to the evangelist Matthew, as we heard from the beginning of his gospel. He begins his gospel in such a way as to show the work of God throughout human history culminating in the fullness of revelation found in Jesus Christ. So from the mutt crowd or people in that many generations, God made them perfect through Christ our Lord. Doesn't that tell you and me that even though we find ourselves unworthy and none of us is to, to be called worthy of God's love and 
his uh, salvation for all of us. But yet, God in his goodness and love for you and me, he chose you and me to be part of this salvation history. Like those, our forefathers, in the lineage of Christ, we too can bring Jesus to others in most simple way of just being a source of joy for them, showing our goodness and our beauty because we believe that God made you and me in his own image and likeness. And that's, that's very encouraging for us, good news indeed. So this context of Jesus being uh, uh, coming from that lineage prepares us for the stories of the birth life and ministry and death of Jesus Christ as God's perfect plan for the salvation of the entire world. And we're still in invited to be part of that in our own lives because God has a plan for you. And maybe the best thing is to, to ask the Lord in our prayer, what is it that he wants us to do? As I said already, as simple as being source of joy for others, making that, making an, an intentional um, commitment to doing good things for others. Let us begin with our own family, especially during this pandemic time, you know, when we are all kind of clustered in within our ho our homes, and make it make the best of our effort to bring ourselves closer to one another and maybe be source of joy for one another during this time. As we prepare our hearts for Christ's coming, we present our petitions to the Father. For all members of the church, may the light of Christ Remove all darkness and sin from our midst. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, who we celebrate his birthday today, that God will continue to bless him with his wisdom and to guide us uh, more in tune with your will for all of us as your children. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, may the justice and mercy of the Holy Spirit guide them in their service to their people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For families and communities whose members are estranged from one another, may Christ bring them healing and reconciliation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, may the grace we receive this Advent help us to bear good fruit during the Christmas season. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we continue to pray for all the, the frontline liners or frontline workers who care for victims of coronavirus, for their uh, safety and for their health. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have gone before us in faith, especially Larry Redublo and Nip Karilan, and also members of our families who have gone before us and those who have died recently from our parish community, may they receive their final inheritance in Christ's kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own intentions that we now pray in silence. And we also pray for the special intentions of the Waris family. For them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we thank you for sending your son into the world as one like us, so that we could become your adopted sons and daughters Hear and answer our prayers. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruits of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good will of his holy church. Sanctify these gifts of your church, O Lord, and grant that through these venerable mysteries we may be nourished by the bread of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling, John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the, at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up, for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our bishop, his assistant bishops, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Larry and Nip, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may, be, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Peter Claver and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us now join in saying the act of spiritual communion, which is also posted on your screen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you 
Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Nourished by these divine gifts, Almighty God, we ask you to grant our desire that aflame with your spirit we may shine like bright torches before your Christ when he comes, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Thank you once again for your loving presence and for joining us in this live streaming. I want to thank once again my tech team for their kindness to continue to um, live stream or provide us a way to reach out to you, our parishioners and those of you joining us. And let us again uh, take this uh, second, this is, would be the third day of Simbangabi, and I hope that you are following in the uh, schedule that we placed in our bulletin and so if, if you can participate in it and continue to uh, join the nine day preparation before Christmas. Uh, next week we'll have uh, confessions and I'll announce that tomorrow, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday we'll have two scheduled confessions, one in the morning and, and one in the afternoon. Again, to avail that for any one of you who would like to take advantage of the sacrament, preparing yourself for the Christmas day to celebrate in fullness uh, in the grace of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.